so welcome back. Welcome to this month's edition of our Divine Pulse Community Circle. Welcoming all of you who are here live with me here on Zoom or in the Facebook group, Divine Feminine Devotions Facebook group, or if you're watching the replay on my YouTube channel, welcoming you. You're so welcome here, exactly as you are. And this is a free monthly offering from Myrtle Grove Mystery School that we offer once a month uh, when plans allow. Uh, very occasionally, uh, it doesn't happen every single month um, if I'm traveling or something like this. Uh, but we do our best to provide this monthly zero cost community space for you to dip in to our world, to these divine feminine teachings and to be held in sacred space and in community where the group of like-minded sisters on the path of the goddess. And I want to take a moment just to recognize and honor that uh, this, is, this, this transmission marks one year of offering these circles. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm right about that, Kia. I think it's been a year, a little bit all over the place with my timings today. Um, it's been, yeah, it's been a year. Our first transmission was in September, 2022. So just inviting you to take a moment to feel how far you've come, what you've journeyed through since September last year. I don't know if you can remember what you were doing in September 2022, how that felt. But I know that as a collective, we have been through so much <laughs> uh, cosmo on a cosmological level, on an astrological level. So much has been going on. And last year we were in this incredible uh, Magdalene energy, right? It was a 22 year encoded with the energies of Mary Magdalene. And I've been sharing quite a bit about Magdalene on my socials at the moment. Um, I've been really feeling her frequency really strong. And uh, several of our students in our priestess training have been uh, really feeling that as well. Uh, and I'm just feeling, yeah, this kind of, this resonance with how we were feeling in 2022, now coming into the last quarter, uh, almost, of 2023. And how many gifts and blessings we've received as a community, as a collective. So just inviting you to take some deep breaths and we will begin here with our opening grounding and invocation. And if this idea of grounding is new to you, uh, just inviting you to really be open-minded here to this invitation. It's really designed to be a relaxation, a way of, of dropping in and creating a sacred container, a sacred space. But if you feel to, placing one hand over your heart and one hand over your sacral chakra, your womb space, physical or etheric womb space. I'm just taking some deep breaths here, letting go of your day thus far letting go of anything that is not of this moment here. Perhaps with a sigh or a sound. As you feel the rise and fall of your breath, connecting with the space around you, the space below you, the space above you, the earth, 
beneath your feet. And feeling energetically connecting these two centers, the womb space and the heart space to be open to receive all of the blessings of this journey today, of this transmission. So that you can receive the answers that you are seeking. Your why for being here in this circle today. Perhaps you've come to seek some healing. Perhaps you desire to connect with the goddess. Perhaps you're feeling like you need some extra energy, some support from your spiritual path, from the divine. However your feeling today is perfect. You are welcome here. And we welcome in the presence of the overlighting guide of our mystery school, the presence of goddess Hathor, Hathor, great mother goddess of music and sacred sound awakening, the celestial note of creation. We welcome you, great mother goddess. Hathor, we welcome in the presence of Divine Mother Goddess Isis, winged one, celestial being, whose golden embrace emanates throughout the universe and within each one of us in this moment, knowing and sensing that we are divine, that every cell in our body is infused with this energy that all hearts beat as one, that we are made in perfect likeness of the divine. There is no separation. And as we breathe together, feeling the flame of each one of us lighting up around the world, all of the women gathered here and the many, many women who will watch the replay of this autumn equinox, new moon in Virgo transmission. And I invite you to, in your own way, invoke the sacred into your space. Perhaps that is with a tone, a hum, a song from your heart. And I will invoke the Lady of Avalon here as well with my voice. Blessed be and welcome, blessed be. What a privilege it is to be in connection with each one of you. What a privilege it is to create these teachings. I'm so, so grateful for the opportunity. And I'm, I'm so, I feel so blessed to be in connection with each one of you, whether we know each other really well or not, whether this is the first time that you've come to one of my circles, uh, maybe let, let me know in the chat if you're new here. I would love, love to know um, if anyone, this is their first time joining us for one of these circles. Maybe just put a yes in the chat if that's you. I know there's a lot of familiar faces as well. 
Oh, it's Madeline's first time. Alessandra's new here. Kate is new here. Welcome, welcome. So in these circles, what I love to do is anchor us in with a teaching around the energies of the moment. And this is what I, I, I spend the month really dreaming into in connection with our current students, with my one-to-one -one clients in my mentorship program, and just tuning into what are the kind of collective themes that are coming forward for, uh, for each one. Oh, it's Britta's first time here. Welcome. Yeah, amazing. And let's face it, this has been an intense month, right? We've been coming out of Venus retrograde. I was speaking to um, an amazing astrologer yesterday, Rama, uh, who did a guest session for our Cosmic Voice students. And she reminded me that uh, we're still in the shadow of Venus retrograde. So when planets go into retrograde, there's then this period where, uh, where although the planet has stationed direct, and is moving direct in our skies, there's still um, a shadow, a period of kind of transition that can last several weeks. And this is one of the great gifts of being in connection with the stars, right? Of having a spiritual practice that is anchored and grounded here on earth, but where you also feel that celestial connection is that we begin to feel the impacts of tuning in in our own lives. And so put a yes in the chat if you've been feeling the effects of this Venus retrograde, right? And the, and the shadow of it afterwards, which we're still in. And it can be a kind of gradual process of really coming out of these periods of deep introspection. Yeah, feeling lots of yeses in the chat. Kate's massively feeling it. Phyllis says yes. Kia, yes. Rita, yes, yeah. And each one of us has felt this in our own unique way, right? But over the past month, <laughs> we've also had Mercury retrograde, which happens three times a year. Um, and this year it's happening while we're in these, these seasons of Earth. So we had Mercury retrograde during Taurus season, uh, now in Virgo season, and then at the end of the year, we'll have it when um, when the sun moves into Capricorn as well. And so with Mercury and Venus and several other planets going through this deep, uh, this deep period of, of retrograde, there's a tendency in spiritual circles, right, to kind of blame everything on these alignments. And these circles are called the divine pulse, right? The intention here is to anchor you in your being, in your light body, in your energy, so that you feel your ability to create your own life from this sense of being deeply connected to the divine within you. And we do this largely, largely with the tools of sacred sound with the tools of vocal awakening, because when we center in our throat chakra and our ability to powerfully call in new creations in our life, this infuses us with this greater sense of empowerment, of sovereignty, and really that ability we, we have to be the creatrix of our realities. So with that in mind, you know, I'm, I'm careful here to not say I'm blaming things on this retrograde period, but I know it has been intense. In particular, Mercury can, uh, can really interfere with our lines of communication. The sense of communicating clearly, of things being clear. Another sister of mine, uh, Melissa from Magdalene Rose Temple, she, uh, she often talks to me about Mercury retrograde and she says, during Mercury retrograde, things are not what they seem, right? So if you've been struggling to make a big decision in your life, or if it's felt uh, like the way forward is not clear, then Mercury retrograde uh, could be having an influence on that and this period now where we're emerging from it 
is really where that clarity that we're seeking can begin to shine through. So I've had my own uh, major test <laughs> during this Mercury retrograde. Uh, those of you that have been to these circles before will see that my background is different. I'm in a different location today because throughout Mercury retrograde, I have not had any internet access in my home, um, which is a very uh, privileged problem, right? <laughs> to be so connected that not having internet is a big deal. Um, but in terms of running my business, being connected to my students, being connected to my community, it's been a major challenge for me. Uh, and the, the lesson and the teaching that I've received from that is to get grounded and to detach from the virtual reality and come even deeper into my own body, into my own natural rhythms and cycles. And so I'm inviting you to feel if this last month has been in any way a time for you to really go inwards, to receive some introspection, some deep inwards, uh, inward looking aspects for your life. It's certainly been that way for me. It has not been easy to know the way forward when things are moving retrograde, when things are unclear. And so now that we're emerging from this, and you know, whether you're watching this replay uh, a year from now or four years from now, um, however long YouTube exists, right? Uh, it may be that the astrology is different in the moment that you're watching this. And the journey that we're gonna do together in a few minutes time will support you wherever you're at on this journey of really anchoring into the divine pulse of who you are. We're going to do what's called a place of power meditation. And in this meditation, we'll journey together to our inner places of power. This is um, a meditation that uh, is, it's like a really, really powerful visualization meditation that is taught in different ways, in different um, pagan and goddess circles. And we're gonna have our own unique way of presenting it today. And the aim here is to really reconnect with your inner space of deep knowing, of deep intuition. We're in Virgo season, right? The sign of the priestess and priest, the sign of devotion to yourself, the sign of devotion to your work. Yeah, so all of the Virgoan beings that I know, Kia included, <laughs> <laughs> um, have a deep devotion to their, uh, their work, to their devotion in, in the world, to their service in the world. And so what a gift this period of Mercury retrograde, Venus retrograde has been for helping us to cut through the crap and come back to what's really important within ourselves. And as you will know, if you've connected with me before, I follow a goddess path. All of our teachings in our Myrtle Grove School are centered around helping you connect with the goddess energy within you. And my own priestess path of the last 10 years has taken me through some really deep dark nights of the soul where being held in community and sisterhood has really supported me to stay anchored in my devotion to life and my healing path. And at the end of the day, this is what it means to be a priestess, if you resonate with that word, or if you're beginning to resonate with that word and you're curious as to what that means for you. It's a path of devotion to the ever spiraling inner journey we take within to meet ourselves. And once we have done that journey, 
even if you've only done it a few times, it's my belief that it qualifies you to support others on that journey. And if you're someone who is spiritually connected in your life, you, you have devotions that you do, perhaps that is a morning meditation, sacred sound, uh, yoga, chanting, this infusion in your life, this commitment to yourself and your own um, energy as your own responsibility is a core piece of the priestess path that others in your life will begin to feel around you. And so Virgo is all about health and well-being. Yeah, it's all about purifying and detoxifying the vessel. So for the rest of this season of, of moving through um, the season of Virgo, it's really about coming back to ourselves, to the health of our bodies and to the, the divine truth that our bodies hold that can help us to heal anything that we're working through. So in this meditation today, this place of power meditation, let this be an invitation to come back to yourself fully, to the wisdom of your body that knows how to heal from the inside out. Let this be an invitation to get grounded after a period of really quite extreme astrological shifts. So I invite you to make yourselves comfortable. And if you want to stay seated, that is fine. If you want to lie down and relax your body, then you can do that as well. And we're gonna be here for about 15, 20 minutes. So making sure that you're warm, that you're comfortable. really making the most of this opportunity to be held in sacred space, even just for this one hour of your day, right? So, so precious. And when you're ready, you can close your eyes or soften your gaze. Taking a deep look inwards, scanning your body for any places of tension where you can consciously relax, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the eyes, relaxing the shoulders, placing your hands wherever feels comfortable for you. as we enter into this collective prayer. To empower your inner yes to all that you truly want in your life and to empower your inner no to all that is not in resonance. So deepening your breath, lengthening your inhale and your exhale. Beginning to see at your third eye chakra, the space between your eyebrows that a space opens up there, spiraling outwards and filling your vision with a beautiful red, misty light. And the red slowly changes color to orange. The 
orange changes colour to yellow. And then to green. Then to blue. Indigo. And finally violet. As you feel that violet mist in your vision, seeing yourself beginning to sink downwards like you're being carried in a beautiful bubble of light until this violet bubble reaches the earth. And as the violet mist clears, you see yourself in a beautiful place in nature, stepping out of this bubble of light now into this sacred space. And noticing what you see. Where has your consciousness taken you? Perhaps this is somewhere you have journeyed to many times before. Perhaps it is brand new today. Seeing it with fresh eyes. Noticing the sights and sounds of her nature all around you. If there's running water, seeing where this running water moves through the land, perhaps a stream, a river. If there are trees, flowers. You begin to walk, to follow a path through this sacred space, noticing the view stretching around you, the landscape. Stretching all the way as far as the eye can see. And you know and sense that you have arrived at your place of power. A sacred space within you where you are anchored in your absolute truth. Where you can go to reconnect with that pure divine essence of your soul. Everything you see here is a reflection of you, is your creation. with you as you take the path through this place of power. Perhaps it is an animal guide that you've worked with before or is it a new guide for you? This animal that is a reflection of some part of your inner psyche
following the path that is being shown to you. As you go deeper and deeper into your place of power. Feeling as you do this that any burdens you've been carrying can be offered here back into the rich, dark soil. Any heaviness that doesn't belong to you, perhaps things that have been absorbed from people around you, from people you work with, from family, from friends. Sensing here and now, what is your energy and what belongs to others that you can offer? That you can offer back to this rich soil, this earth, feeling it leaving your body, perhaps even shaking your body a little, making a sound, a tone. There's anything that you wish to offer up to this earth is received. This is a place of freedom for you, a place where you are able to be in your wildest essence. And so now seeing, sensing, calling to you a bird that you can fly with across these lands, an eagle or a large bird in some way that you can approach and gently with permission climb onto the back of the bird, holding onto the feathers and taking flight. Now seeing from a bird's eye view your place of power below you. Your bird reaches into the sky. And in these winds, you can allow anything else to be blown away. Until you reach the place where the bird lands here deep in the forest landing on top of a beautiful tree tree of wisdom and as you feel held within its branches for this short time, feeling the connection to the earth in your place of power, knowing that here in this sacred space now, you can ask for any divine guidance from yourself any questions that you're bringing. Breathing in the rich earth smell, the smell of the forest, the heartbeat of the earth, as you receive all that you have come here to ask.
seeing what you see and knowing what you know as it is shown to you. And the deep power that is here, that is always yours. And when you feel you have received the kernel of truth that you have come here to know, it is time to take flight once more on the wings of your bird. Flying back to the beautiful pathway across this land, back to the space where you met your bird. Gently finding your way back onto the path giving thanks to this bird being who has kept you safe on this journey. seeing, sensing any last messages, words, visions that come to you now that you can bring back with you from this deep inner space of power, of intuition. Your true voice is here. When you are ready, making your way back to this bubble of violet light. Giving thanks to the animal guides that have been with you and seeing them running back into nature there for you, always there for you. If you wish to come back to cycle deeper with them to have a deeper knowing. But for now, feeling this bubble of light rising as this violet light finds its way all around you into your field of vision. The violet light slowly changing colour to indigo. Then to blue. To green. Yellow. Orange. And finally red as you arrive back in your body fully, in your here and now consciousness arriving, breathing yourself back. <sighs> Receiving all of the gifts of this journey of grounding and centering in your place of power. 
And as you feel yourself arriving back, perhaps just gently stretching and moving your body, being super gentle with yourself here. And as we arrive back, just inviting you to awaken your voice, grounding in with a low tone, anything that comes through, maybe an ah tone. When we awaken the voice in this way after a journey, we really help to ground in the knowledge that we've received. this energy integrates within you feeling all of those colors those rainbow colors and the blessings the gifts infusing into your chakras into your body bringing renewed health and vitality as we recenter and ground and anchor in your own place of power giving thanks to the presence of the goddess over lighting this journey, giving thanks to the presence of the divine pulse within each one. And using this time here, if you want to journal anything you received from the journey, or if there's anything you want to share with us here, in the chat here on zoom in the live call or in the replay comments says I usually associate with Bridget today it was the Morrigan and her ravens so powerful thank you for sharing honoring your connection to the ravens that wild nature essence Blessings, and you too. She says, such an honor and blessing to be here. It's a powerful energy, right? When as, as sisters, we come together to really invoke that place of power within. This is one of the first meditations that I ever learned on my spiritual path. And it has always served me so, so well. So. I'm so, um, so delighted to pass it on to you that you can discover this inner place of power, which is really focalized around a place in nature that is somewhere that we feel in connection with Mother Gaia, with Mother Earth, but deep within us. So again, like all of the practices I share in these circles, it's always about connecting with the divine within 
with really anchoring and and I see it like we're re-threading these threads of connection that has always been the divine feminine path. Yeah. It's always been the way of the goddess to have that connection to earth as, as not separate from us, that we are of her body. And this is what first really called me to the path of the goddess, uh, was really feeling that sense of, oh my goddess, the divine gets to be a part of me. It's not something that I believe in. There's nothing to believe in. She just is. It is. Right? And so this place of power meditation is really, it's all about that. It's such a simple meditation, but any time that you feel in any doubt, in any fear, like you can't reconnect with your intuition, this process of going through the colours of the chakras, excuse me, going through the colours of the chakras, taking you deeper, into your psychic sense. I'm breaking down how this meditation works for you so that if you want to do it again, you really understand. So uh, like all of the work that I do, it's centered around the chakra energetics. Um, so we're working through the chakras and we're getting to a place where we're in our psychic knowing through the crown and the third eye being opened right up from the base that was the violet light we traveled into and from that sense we're going deep into an inner realm where we walk out and we know we know who we are and maybe it still takes a bit of time to find the exact answer like maybe you received a clear answer if you had a question that you were journeying with today or maybe it will take a little longer you'll have to do this journey a few times or maybe the answer will arrive tomorrow or in a few days time. But the important piece is that you have come back to your sovereignty, to your essence of knowing. So that it's from that place that decisions are being made. So just looking at the chat here, so happy to receive your reflections and experiences. I'm going to read a few of them aloud because um, if you're on the replay or you're watching on Facebook, you won't see the chat. Uh, Cindy says, yes, me too. A raven on the tour with maiden goddess energy hovering above the tour. Beautiful. So I'm guessing you mean Glastonbury tour. Uh, beautiful. So amazing. Oh, Terry was on the tour too. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Ah, Britta says she was at Mount Shasta with a mountain lion and a hawk that transformed into a phoenix. Wow. So incredible to hear these reflections where what's clear to me from what you're describing is that you, you're really opening up your psychic eye, like you're really seeing clearly, uh, which is, yeah, which is a skill, right? That we develop over time and this is the kind of meditation that helps us to really hone that skill. Uh, Phyllis says she traveled with an owl around the place where she lives. Beautiful, amazing. Owls hold so much wisdom. Alessandra says this was the first time she traveled to an amethyst quartz cave. Wow, that had been happening already for the last couple of days at a mind level. Mm, so beautiful that you were able to go that layer deeper today. And I love that Terry is sharing that she was on the tour and in a cave. <laughs> the synergy is incredible there. Beautiful, beautiful work, everyone. Yeah, and I call this spiritual work because yeah, sometimes it feels like a bit of a workout, right? To stay in the visualization. So if you fall, fell asleep, you know, if your mind was wandering and it was hard to get into the meditation today, that is perfect as well. Um, so honoring all of the experiences here because what this is about, this, this circle, this space of being in sisterhood here is, is having the space to explore, to journey, to be held. 
So whatever your body needed, if you just needed a nap <laughs> just then, that's beautiful too. Quite frequently has happened to me in the past, for sure. And sometimes even when we think we're asleep, what's actually happening is we're going into an altered state of consciousness, right? So I have to say, this is a confession here, okay? Every single time I have ever done a sound bath, I don't know about online, but for sure, every in-person sound bath I have ever done, <laughs> at least one person falls asleep and starts snoring. It happens every time. So I now have a disclaimer at the start of all of my in-person sound journeys, just, you know, sharing that it's completely okay for that to happen. Yeah. Beautiful. Lauren Rose had a white lioness named Blanche. Wow. Oh, so powerful. Kia was guided by a peacock and then a swan. Such strong bird energy in these journeys. So, so beautiful, everyone. Thank you for sharing your reflections on this powerful journey. And um, if you're here live, you'll, you'll receive the replay. If you want to go back and do that journey again, you're really, really welcome to. Um, and I want to take this opportunity to share as well that um, in our Facebook group, Divine Feminine Devotions, if you, we would love to hear your reflections on your devotions. If there's more that comes through from this journey that you, uh, you would love to share with the world, just in the act of, of sharing it, what it does is it adds to the group energy that is created in these circles. So one of the key pieces that is really important to me in all of the group journeys that I've run is that we create a really strong group energy. So I know some of you um, here have, have come to many of my events or in-person retreats, and this is a really powerful, um, yeah, really strong part of my kind of mission statement is to create a space of safety and sacredness where all is welcome and really where it's not about so much me being the facilitator and creating all of that. It's really a group effort to create the momentum of the journey. So it's reflected here in the, you know, in these beautiful shares. It's like we're able to see clearly when we're guided in such a way where we, we feel others on the journey as well. So if you've been considering diving into our mystery school teachings, know that there are some offerings that are available for you right now. Um, if you want to go deeper with this kind of work of visualization and healing, um, you can take our initiation self-guided journey with the presence of Hathor, Isis and Mary Magdalene guiding you through some ceremonies focused on different aspects of the divine feminine healing path, womb healing, mother line healing and sisterhood healing. So mentioning that in case any of you want to go deeper and, and really be held in that sacred space with ceremonies that have been done now by many, many women around the world. Um, and we also have our beautiful uh, music, the sacred music uh, offerings that we have that provide you with an immersive space to go deeper. You can find all of my music, the Divine Feminine Frequencies um, on all streaming platforms. Um, available at zero cost. Um, and we also have long play meditation soundscapes that are available to purchase from my website. Um, so you'll find the, the links there in the chat. If you just go to elsafield.co.uk, you'll find everything that we offer. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share that with you. Um, oh, happy to hear that, Cindy. She just did the womb healing with Hathor inside of initiations this afternoon. Oh, incredible to hear that, love. I hope it was nourishing for you. Ah, thank you so much, everyone, for being here with us in this live, live journey today. Um, yeah, it just feels like such a blessing for me to share. 
um, and for us to share as a community through these really full on times that we're in. These teachings that we share are eternal. They really are very ancient. Um, we work with really, really ancient themes and goddess presence. And the reason why is because these are themes that humanity has been working with for millennia, but which we're really now remembering and reawakening within the womb space, within the voice of all, all people throughout the world. We all have that connection to the womb of the great mother from which we're, we're all born, we're all birthed. So I would love to know how this transmission lands with you. Feel free to reach out to us. Um, we'd love to hear your feedback. And let's just take a moment here to just reground, center and settle before we depart from our transmission today. I so hope to connect with you again in, in whatever way that weaves. I trust the divine timing of all things. And our next session will be in October. If you, uh, if you love today's transmission and you want to come back and circle with us again, we meet every month. Um, as I said before, it's normally the third Saturday of the month. However, October and November, I'm going on a very exciting trip in October uh, to some lands that I've never been to before. I can't wait to share more with you about that, um, that beautiful pilgrimage that I'm planning. But we will have a divine pulse before I leave on the 7th of October. And then, and then another one on uh, the 4th of November. I think we'll put all of these dates in, in the replay email for you as well, in case you want to mark your calendars. Giving thanks for this journey, taking time to just breathe yourself back into your body so that when we say goodbye and this transmission ends, you're already feeling grounded and centered back into you, your land, where you are sending down that cord of light once more here, feeling yourself anchored and rooted in the sacred land where you are, giving thanks to the goddess in all her forms and faces, in the bright spark of this sisterhood, of this sacred work that we do together to rebirth the divine feminine voice, on the planet today. Thank you for your voice. Thank you for your presence. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a beautiful, blessed day, evening or night. I really look forward to connecting with you again soon and sending so much love. Bye for now, everyone.